What's up guys, it's I'm Baked Bean, and here back on Bloodborne again. And we're in the Hemwick Witch Witch channel? Whatever, I don't even I don't even care. These witches, you know, they're a pain in the ass, you're just gonna kill them. Just look at them. I think they can dodge away from me, but fuck no they cannot. I told them to get back in the kitchen. And I got some bloodshot eyeballs. These women, if they've been smoking too much reefer, I tell you. It's ridiculous. That's probably why they're all mad. They've, the supplier probably cut them off. They're going through with the trolls. Well, shit. Alright, well, guys, we're gonna be trying to up... up hey, fuck. We're probably gonna be, um... Opening up a little shortcut. It'll be pretty decent. Oh, uh, these guys are fucking pain in the ass. I hate them. Alright, yeah. Even as like high of level as I am, they still do some damage. It's, it's a pain. It really is. And during this boss fight, they just come from everywhere. It's stupid. You guys can see it's just super stupid. But oh man. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. Throwing fireballs at me. Alright, yeah, guys, so we're just gonna be opening up this little shortcut. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Helps us a lot. Especially because this place can be a pain with all these women. You know, women are kind of a pain in the ass. See, so we're just gonna go get that shortcut so we don't have to deal with them. Even when you guys think that you can trust them. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll tell you what. There's a woman around this corner. You know what? I don't trust her. She tried backstabbing me right there. You see that? I'm gonna kill her. There she goes. She's dead. I don't play around with none of that stuff. And she has her little pet birds. I don't mess with them either. And we got this drag queen over here. I don't even know what these things are. I, they're just weird with most of the stuff in this game. Yeah, I don't even know. I run, I run, I can't buy, can't buy everything. Can't deal with none of this nonsense. Oh yeah, we need those pebbles, guys. Those pebbles will save your life someday. Maybe not today, but they will someday. You gotta keep them. Alright, where does this lead? Okay, yeah, this is... Oh, a person. Or... I guess... They don't want to talk to us. Sounds like they have the problems of their own. Alright, let's see where this leads. Okay, yeah, that's the very beginning. Alright, so I guess that's another shortcut. Um, right over here, like, you guys see this, like, the starting area. You know, that bloodshot eyeballs are over there. Alright, this seems kind of sketchy. Um... What to do? This is a little bit too sketchy for me. Okay. Freaking dog running after me. And a woman. 
can't keep them off of me. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, you know, flamethrower. I don't. I think it's called like the flame spitter or something like that. It's pretty good. I mean, it's all right, but it's pretty good at like crowd control. If you have a big crowd of people, just pick them off with that. Especially since it's it scales with arcane. That's that's the type of kind of build what I'm going for. It's uh, it's pretty good. But unfortunately, I did not. I don't even have mine upgraded that high. I mean, it's all right. I just missed that little bugger. Uh -huh. uh, my main DPS is obviously going to be coming from the Blade of Mercy. I might switch it out later in the game just because with bosses, Blades of Mercy are kind of difficult to use. It's kind of a pain. And I don't really feel like going through the rest of the game just with the they're cool don't get me wrong like they do a lot of damage like right there and they're really quick but for bosses especially bigger bosses where like you have to hit their head and their head is like dangling or something like that and you can't really get that do like a what are they called like an overswing attack you know they're not going to be working out for you very much so I don't know, I'm gonna keep my eye open. I think I might just go with the oh man, doing some work for me. I think I might just go for the scythe, the what is it, the burial scythe, or something like that. The scythe that, and you know, I'm not even gonna spoil it for you guys. But anyways, it's a pretty good scythe, and it turns into like a curved sword, so I'm definitely gonna want to use that. guys. You know, these guys used to be really tough in the beginning of the game, but now they're kind of wimps. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, well. You know, I'll take your echoes. I'll take them. I ain't got no time for any of that farming stuff. I'll just take them right here now. Alright, that gate, that's kind of like to the right. I don't know if you guys really saw it. That's the gate we need to open for the shortcut. It, uh, it'll decrease our time by a freaking ridiculous amount. Like, especially going through all that nonsense. We don't want to do none of that. We just want to open up this gate. Oh, yeah. If you guys need any help for, like, blood vials, these guys right here, like, the big guys that hold the bricks, they drop a ridiculous amount of blood vials. Like, right there, you saw four. And they're pretty easy to take down. Like, later on in the game, you guys might see me farming them. Just because I might need some blood vials, and it's a pretty good way to get them. But we're, this video is going to be coming to an end. So if you guys liked it, be sure to thumbs up. If you guys want to see some more content, be sure to subscribe. You know, if you have any comments, leave them down below. Have a nice day, guys.